Hello, and welcome to this ArtCam Insignia 2012 video tutorial, highlighting the shape editor. Here, we have been asked to create a relief from a design for a sign for a sports shop called Bucky's Balls. First of all, let's change to the 3D view so we can have a real-time update of each edit we do. Because ArtCam Insignia only has one relief layer, we must be very choosy about which order we do the shape edits in. The overall shape of the sign should be calculated last so that it may be added underneath all of the details present in the centre of the sign. So, following those guidelines, let's first create the reliefs for the balls in the centre of the model. First of all, the American football. Left click on the boundary and either press the shape edit tool in the top left hand corner press F12 on your keyboard or alternatively you can double click on the boundary. This opens up the shape editor. Now balls are round so we would want a dome shape for this relief. You can select the dome shape from the shape editor by clicking the round icon at the top. From here you can set the angle of the dome as well as any heights or scaling or limits that you might want. We will cover all of these functions throughout the tutorial. For this ball, set an angle of 20 and a start height of 0 and then click Add since it is the first relief to be added. Next we will add a relief for the baseball. Left click the baseball and you will see the shape editor has changed. You can leave the shape editor open and select various boundaries in order to quickly create reliefs for various areas. For this ball, we will set an angle of 30 degrees, again a start height of 0, no limit, and click Add. We are clicking Add as the boundary of the ball is not overlapping any other previously created relief. Now select the golf ball boundary. For this, again, select a dome select an angle of 15, a start height of 0, and instead of this time selecting add, select merge high. Because the boundary of the golf ball is overlapping the relief already created for the American football, adding would deposit the relief for the golf ball on top of that for the American football. With merge high, only the highest of the two reliefs will be visible. In this instance, it will be the American football. Now, group select the vectors on top of the American football. You can easily create reliefs for multiple vectors at the same time, selecting many boundaries at once. Input an angle of 10 and a start height of 0, and then click Add. This time, because the features are on top of the American football, we would like to add them to the top instead of hiding them underneath it with Merge High. Select the two features on top of the baseball using shift and left clicking. This time instead of using the dome function we will use the flat function. The feature on the baseball will not be curved inwards but instead will just be lowered. Input a start height of 2 and then click subtract to subtract the height from the baseball relief. If we now toggle the visibility of the vectors we can see the design in the center. The next step is to create the relief for the text. First of all, select the text and then select Pyramid. Enter an angle of 30 degrees and a start height of 1. This will first add a flat relief of height 1 within the boundary of the text and on top of that a pyramid of angle 30 degrees. Click Add as the text is not on top of anything and view the results. With all the detail in the center of the sign now complete, the sign itself can be given a relief. Firstly, click the outer boundary of the sign. Select Flat Relief and input a start height of 10. Click Add and then select the inner boundary. The effect that we want for the sign 
is to curve it down to a flat surface that is lower than the border. To do this, select Round, input an angle of 60, and select Limit to Height. Limit to Height means that if the relief should go past the set height, then it will level off and become flat. For the height, input a value of 6, and then click Subtract to subtract it from the relief of the sign. I will now fast forward to the end of the calculation. With the calculation complete, the sign looks just about finished. The sign would look even better with a more prominent border. Select both the outer and inner sign boundaries and click Pyramid. Then click on Scale to Height. With this option, a pyramid shape will be created with a user-defined maximum height. In the height box, enter a height of 2.5 and then click Add to add it to the sign boundary. Remove the vectors and here we have our finished sign. In order to get an even better view of the sign, left click on the Draw Zero Plane button. Thank you for watching this ArtCam Insignia 2012 video tutorial. It's been a pleasure.